next is what do we do if we have some implicit curve what is an implicit curve implicit equation or curve is that is the one in which x and y they are mixed up so badly that you cannot find y in terms of x for example this is the curve so here you cannot determine what is y as some function of x that means you cannot separate out y from x so that is an implicit equation of curve for that we have a separate formula the formula says that whatever is your given curve call that as f of x y some function of x as well as some function of y then what you do you take the partial derivative of this function f with respect to x call it f x x in the subscript and then you take the partial derivative of this f with respect to y and then you uh, call it f of y then you take the double derivatives the double derivative of f with respect to x partially so that means f x x then partially with respect to y so it would be f y y and then partially with respect to x and y so it would be f x y so what does uh, it mean to take the partial derivatives it means whenever you have two coordinates say here you have x as well as you have y so you will whenever you take the partial derivative of any function with respect to x um, yes yes no, i can't see the picture or video or anything uh the screen is not visible to you no ma'am it, it's so for the implicit curve we will first calculate the partial derivatives partial derivatives are calculated when you take the derivative of the given function f keeping all other variables as constant so that means here you in order to calculate this del f by del x you will treat y as constant when you are taking the partial derivative of f with respect to y so that means in this case you will treat x as constant so this is the difference between partial and ordinary derivatives so let us see how does this work so this is the formula so here you will plug in all these values f of x square f of y square whole raised to power 3 by 2 and then divided by f double derivative with respect to x single derivative with respect to y squared minus 2 the uh, double derivative with respect to x and y single derivative with respect to x single derivative with respect to y then the double der derivative with respect to y the single derivative with respect to x whole square so let us see how this works we are given this particular curve and we are asked what find the radius of curvature for this curve at this point uh, particular point 2a comma 0 so what we do firstly this is the formula that we will apply so for that we will need f x f y f double x uh, f x x f x y and f y y so let us see this thing firstly when you calculate f of x so that means you will treat y as constant so what would be f x it would be the derivative of this term that means it would be 4 x cube the derivative of this term would be 0 why because we are treating y to be constant next the derivative of this term because y is, is constant so 2y square would come as such and then the derivative of x square so we would have 2y square and the derivative of x square is 2x so in effect we would have 2 into 2 4 x and y square so this is the term that we obtain next here 2a is constant minus 2a is constant the derivative of x cube is 3x square so it would be minus 6a minus 6ax square and then here in this term 2ay square is constant the derivative of x is 1 so it is minus 2ay square and this term being constant a is also constant y is also constant so the the derivative of this term is zero so we have f of x as this particular expression but we are required to calculate its values at this point 2a comma 0 so we will substitute the point here in this equation 
So in place of x, you will substitute the value 2a and in place of y, you will substitute the value 0. So you have this, the value of f of x as 8a cube. Similarly, we can calculate f of y. What would be f of y? So this is our f. So when you calculate f of y, this term would be constant because we are treating x as a constant taking the derivative with respect to y only. So its derivative would be 0. The derivative of y to the power 4, it would be 4y cube. Then the derivative of 2x square y square, it is equal to this uh, 2x square and the derivative 2x square as such because we are treating it them to be constant. Derivative of y square would be 2y. So it would be 4x square y. Here this word would be 0, the, its derivative would be 0, be, treating it to be constant. Here minus 2x as such, the derivative of y square is 2y, right? So this is the term and then we have minus a cube as such, the derivative of y is 1. So this is f of y. So now we can again calculate what is f of y at this particular point 2a comma 0. So its value comes out to be minus a cube. So now for calculating f, uh, the double derivative of f with respect to x, so its value is calculated by taking the derivative of f of x partially with respect to x. So it comes out to be this expression using the same strategy keeping y as constant. So wherever this y is coming, it is treated as constant. So we have f x x. So we can substitute its value at this point. So it is 24a square and then f of x y it comes out to be 0. So as we now have all the quantities then you will calculate f of y y. It comes out to be 8a square, its value is 0, its value is 24a square. Then we have minus a cube and then we have this quantity 8a cube. So we can substitute all these value here into this expression. So finally you can solve this one and you can calculate its value, it comes out to be this finally. So this is your radius of curvature when, when you are given the implicit curve, right? So this is one homework question for you. You can calculate what is the radius of curvature for this particular curve. y square is equal to x cube plus 8 at the point 1 comma 3. So the answer to this question is 22 divided by 15 square root 5. So you can try this one and you can match up the answer. So I hope this is clear to you.